Hi, welcome to Act Promptly. I am your host, Ellie Spectacular, and this is sure to be a game that you will never forget. It is good to see everyone here in chat. Thank you for joining us today. As always, I'd like to give a special shout out to B, who will be acting as our production assistant and score keeper uh, for today's game. Give it up for B. I am here. Thank you so much, B, for everything you do. Oh, thank you for the claps. Possible. Thank you for the claps. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Uh, I am also joined today by three of my wonderful friends who will be taking part in our game as contestants. So first up, uh, we have your friend, the little pink VTuber sensation, who you can watch on MarkToto.com. <laughs> Give it up for MarkToto. I'm here. Welcome to the show. How, how are you doing, Mark? Art is hard. Art is hard. <laughs> it's been, so hard. I heard you've been doing Fuck. a lot of that today. <laughs> I know. I yeah. I'm fresh off of the heels of of doing the art stream. Uh, so I, I'm just I'm just happy that I get to hang out with my friends. Uh, please laugh at everything that I say. There we go. That's the spirit. Well, it's great to have you here. Uh, thank you for 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 coming in and uh, appreciate the the brand spanking new talk sprite. It looks very good. Thanks. Yeah, you don't need to yell, Mar. You've got a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I want to yell. No, you're good. Your your volume is absolutely fine. Uh, next okay. up, uh, next up, uh, they have three, count them, three rats. It's Peregrine. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Peregrine. What have you I'm been Peregrine. up to? I'm Peregrine. What have I been up to? Yeah. Um, today I woke up and I played Splatoon 2 and I read, uh, like a tenth of the Wikipedia page for Ron Paul. My goodness. Uh, did you learn anything? No. <laughs> I heard he's not the most interesting person. <laughs> it's a very long Wikipedia page, and I got bored very quickly. That's completely understandable. Well, thank you for carving time out of your Wikipedia day to spend time with us and do some act promptly. Uh, thank finally, you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Finally, we have uh, the co-founder of Clown House and one-third of Liars Club, whose entire first season of the Liars for Hire podcast you can check out on YouTube. Please welcome Chase Young. Let's get one thing straight. Yes. I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to win. <laughs> I, I, I think that regardless of your intentions, you're going to make some extra friends today. <laughs> and the, the trouble is that everybody in this call, aside from B, who I would consider an acquaintance at this point, uh, is my friend already. So uh, I'm we already... We can fix that. Yeah, we can fix All that. Right. <laughs> fix that. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Now everybody's my friend. God. <laughs> oh. The burp is how you know. Uh, thank you so much for being here, Chase. You been up to anything interesting lately? I've uh, been into Jamba Juice lately. Jamba Juice? Yeah. Yeah, Hell like yeah. The, the place yeah. where the, you get juice from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How is it? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's uh, Dude, Jamba, Jamba's juice is so yummy. Uh, yeah, it is. I've been drinking a delicious little berry slurry for the past 15 minutes, and it's filling me with delicious energy for improv. Hell yeah. Well, I hope you can put mm. that energy to good use, uh, because we are going to get started in just a little moment here. These three will be tasked with playing an improv game where they will come up with ideas without a script for your entertainment and compete for $25 in throne gifts. Uh, Ooh, the winner yay! will receive a gift sent directly to them, totaling $25 or less, or receive the prize amount toward a crowdfunded item of their choice. Uh, we're not sponsored by Throne Gifts, but we want to show some appreciation to the player who puts on the best show. Um, I didn't even know there were <gasps> prizes. I'm going to be honest. Hell yeah. Um, All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try really hard now. Is I'm going to get worse personally, so. Oh, no. <laughs> Um, and if you would like to keep Act Promptly going, you can send a tip in chat by typing exclamation point tip into the chat box during the show or by going to streamelements.com slash spectacular slash tip. Uh, you can also tweet about the show using the hashtag Act Promptly on Twitter. And finally, if you'd like to submit your own prompts for us to act out in future episodes, you can type exclamation point suggest into the live Twitch chat or check the description on the YouTube version. I am sure our players are eager to play. So are we ready to act promptly? Yes. Wonderful. Yes. Glad to hear it. Uh, we have once again looked to the technology of artificial intelligence for aid during these unprecedented trying times. And Ooh. by trying, I mean I've been trying to write prompts on my own, and it's hard, okay? Uh, we fed <laughs> a number of prompts from Quiplash 3, which is part of Jackbox Games, uh, and fed them into an AI hosted by InferKit uh, to provide much of what you'll be acting out today. Uh, later on huh. in the show, there will also be some uh, content submitted by our wonderful viewers, and those will be credited on screen as they appear. Uh, we're starting out with Act Promptly Classic. Uh, players, I will give you a prompt and you have 30 seconds to act out your response however you choose. You can explain it plainly, uh, you can act it out as a character, you can even act it out as multiple characters if you would like to. Um, the choice is entirely up to you. If I like your response, I will give you a point, uh, or as many as three points if I really like it. 
Uh, and if I'm not sure, I'll ask, uh, I'll ask B. Um, I get to participate. Absolutely. Um, does everybody... And I'm the keeper of the scorecard, so don't piss me off. <laughs> no pissing <laughs> off the scorekeeper. Well, then let's get right into it. Uh, Mar, are you ready for your first prompt? Okay. All right. I want you to tell me, uh, or, or act promptly in whatever capacity you see fit, the thing that people are most worried about right now, and I will start your timer right now. Eggs. Huh? Not enough of them. It's crazy huh? out there. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> here's the thing. Here's the thing about eggs is that like, there's only so many chickens out there. And so like, uh -huh. listen, we got, we got something. We got something fucked up out there. There's <laughs> just simply not enough eggs. Uh -huh. uh, if you've ever, if you ever looked at the grocery store, where are all the eggs? Where do they go? Not here. It's in my tummy. <laughs> no more eggs. <laughs> hey, what's I, the deal with eggs? Well, are you implying that people are worried about you because you keep eating all the eggs? <laughs> You'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> Rubs my big and round belly. <laughs> <laughs> that was a that was a good respectable start. I certainly would be worried if we suddenly were out of eggs. Uh, I'm gonna give you two points for that one. Okay. Uh, Peregrine plus a bonus egg. <laughs> plus a bonus oh. egg. Uh, oh, it's just yard. a zero. It's plus zero. Oh, no. Oh. oh, that makes so much sense. I can't believe I didn't think about that. Uh, Peregrine, are you ready for your first prompt? Yeah. Alrighty. I want you to tell me something you've heard in a movie, and I'll start your time now. Well, one time I was watching this movie, um, it was about how trains aren't actually real. Just, like, think about it. I Well, <laughs> I live in the U.S., but I've never seen a train. Have you? Um, yo, and it's really weird because there's people that have these this hobby where they make little trains. It's kind of like Gunpla, but if the Gundams had to lay down all the time. <laughs> I think it's really fucked up, and I don't know, I'm just tired of the lies. That is so fucked up. <laughs> that is so fucked they're up. They're laying that... down because they're asleep. They're yep. tired, and they have to get pushed across the country. <laughs> Actually, very famously, trains don't have tires. They have... They have uh, wheels. We all collectively decided that trains uh, were real, even though that's patently untrue. Um, I liked mm. that. Uh, Peregrine, you get two points for that one. <laughs> Super I've cool. lost the lead. <laughs> <laughs> Chase, are you ready for your first prompt? I'm, I'll try. My heart's racing. Alrighty. Uh, I want you to give it, give your entire heart to a really sad song. And I'll start your time now. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, welcome to the funeral of my dad. <laughs> I had to write this song on the spot because my dad on his bed, he said, Chase, I want you to embarrass yourself in front of my coffin. <laughs> my dad is dead and I'm really sad about it. And that's and the end. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> you had to give me the musical one, really. See, you know, you, uh, you didn't you didn't have to sing it. I would have I, I would have been absolutely fine if you had chosen to just describe it or recite something. Oh, okay. I, sh I should have just said candle in the wind. It's oh, okay. man. <laughs> you're good. I said it for 30 seconds. You're going to get you're going to get three points. Say it real that. slow. You're going to get yeah! three points because you you fucking uh, you nailed it and also I can totally see that exact uh, that exact song happening in a cartoon where that's the situation <laughs> happening. Um, Sorry, Ellie, you cut out. Well, how many points was that? That's three. That's a three-pointer, baby. Oh, the lead yeah. is mine. Yeah, uh, Chase's dad really seems like the kind of guy who would also request that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. No, he, he's, he was, uh, I, we, we had a prank war, and he was like, you know what, Chase? I'm going to die in three minutes, but uh, I just want you to know that I want your last memory of me when you see me physically to be you embarrassing uh, yourself in front of all of our loved ones. <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, there you the go. ultimate dad joke. Thanks, uh, <laughs> Mar, we're back to you. Are you ready for your next prompt? Yes. All right. Uh, I want you uh, to respond to the prompt. How to describe your state of mind with flowers as your key? Okay. <sighs> <coughs> oh my! Oh jeez, man! <laughs> why is this? Why is there so many flowers? <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> 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 so, there's so much. It's <laughs> just. 
Oh, <laughs> it's hay fever, man. As in hay. I hate this fever. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I I also deal with seasonal allergies, so I I empathize. And you know what? You're gonna get you're gonna get two points for that because that's exactly how my brain is acting when that happens. Awesome. I was like really trying to force me legitimately trying to sneeze. It didn't work out. Oh, no. So I think I needed a little more flowers around me. Hey, that that just that just adds that just adds to the whole thing. It's so yeah. weird that of like all of the noises that can come out of your head, sneezing is one of the ones that we cannot force. We can force coughing. Some people can force burping. I don't think I don't know anybody that can force a sneeze. Right I can now. if I stare at the sun. Oh, well, you shouldn't no. do that. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Why? No, that's how you prevent sneezing. Is if, if you feel like a little sneeze coming on, you look at the sun. And <laughs> or like a light like source or something. Yeah. Huh. yeah, or something like that. Wait, no, I think I got yeah, it. Never mind. For me, it brings out the sneeze. No, yeah, I think it makes the sneeze happen. It's, so you get wait, it over Never mind. It. I don't know how the sun works. <laughs> Fair you, live in, you, live, you live in Bizarro World, that's why. <laughs> that, I, live, I live in Bozo World. <laughs> yeah, it's called Toronto, Ontario. Uh, Peregrine, we're back to you. Are you ready for your next prompt? Yeah. Your prompt is... Which came first, the Flintstones or the Jetsons? The answer is nuanced. <laughs> oh, actually, I, I fucking know this. Like, you know, in the Flintstones, they talk about how they're actually, like, uh, you know how all the dinosaurs and shit are technology? Oh, like yeah. you mm -hmm. use a bird to play a record. They're uh, mm -hmm. they're they came they came out. So it's like Fallout. There was a big apocalypse, and uh, mm -hmm. the Jetsons died, and uh, the Flintstones uh, came out of them when they died, and <laughs> that's why they use a bird as a record player. Like I'm a cocoon. <laughs> like, I was about to say, like aliens. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm so oh. excited to play Fallout Five that takes place in Bedrock. Um, yeah, you're you're gonna get uh, you're gonna get three points for that. I enjoyed that a lot. <laughs> it's a plausible I feel like theory. I deserve that. <laughs> I think I think Welcome you talked your way around theories. it very well. Um, Thank you. We're back to you. Are you ready for your next prompt? I hope it's not another song. Uh, no, <laughs> it's certainly. All right. Not. All right. All right. Uh, I want you to tell me a good marketing slogan for that untrustworthy X. Okay, so I'm gonna assume this is like I'm I'm been hired as her PR team. Even though we broke up on bad terms, it has now come to me to market her for her next potential suitor. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say, uh, there's never a dull moment with this one, or uh, it's, uh, you'll you'll never you'll all, you know what it, uh, uh, it's always fun to guess at what someone's thinking. You know, it's sort of like a mini game. Um, <laughs> Uh, 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 the, 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 the ultimate marketing slogan is try your luck, folks. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my, oh my God. <laughs> I, I appreciate that not only did you fill the 30 seconds, but you also came up with something that just like, uh, throws the correct amount of shade, but also is like marketable. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad you liked it. Very good. I uh, hope, that, I hope he likes it. That's a, <laughs> that's a three pointer. Yeah! Very good, very good. Uh, Marl, we're back to you. Are you ready for your next prompt? No. <laughs> do, you want me to, do you want me to give you a sec? No. Because the timer is, because <laughs> the timer is kind of a loose thing. The timer is not like a, like a strict, like you, you gotta be done when it hits zero and you can't start till it's on. give it to me, but I'm scared. All right. Uh, <laughs> let, me, let me know if you need any assistance with this one. Uh, what Phyllis Diller actually said about Mrs. Butterworth who the fuck is any of this? Okay, do you know Mrs. Butterworth? Nope. She's, She's a syrup lady from bottle. syrup. Yeah. We don't have that in Canada. That's okay. You, just, just Canada's keep in mind, famous for syrup. Just keep in mind, she's she's but a that, bottle of syrup that's shaped like her. Wait. I just <laughs> it's, also, it's not real syrup. It's like corn syrup. That's what I'm it's saying. Flavored. Like, sweet syrup. <laughs> and Phyllis Diller is a uh, 60s and 70s era comedic actress. Do your best. Uh, uh, Phil, uh, uh, hold on. Wow, uh, lady with big hair says, this shit sucks. I've been in Canada and it's way better. Why is she, why is her hair so big? What has happened? Hold on, I'm just looking at a picture of Phyllis Diller. There's so much hair. She, did she use Holy that? Holy shit. Did she use that syrup in the in the hair? Sucks. <laughs> that was that was her signature look. 
Um, no, we have, <laughs> somebody in chat is, you don't have syrup in Canada? No, we have maple syrup. It's, they, it's sweet on its own. They have better syrup in Canada. They have That's where syrup was syrup. born. Mar, you're going to get two points because I, I feel like you did your absolute best given the circumstances. <laughs> um, you'll have to forgive me. I'm from Canada. <laughs> That's okay. Um, they don't have Mrs. Butterworth or Phyllis Diller up there. They don't, that's true. <laughs> that's true. They don't have Phyllis Diller anywhere anymore because she's dead. <laughs> oh, oh man. <laughs> Oh, yeah, God. that was really insensitive, Chase. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry to all the uh, all the Phyllis Diller uh, extended family members in the chat. <laughs> uh, Perrican, we're sorry, Dillheads. <laughs> Dillheads. Oh my God. <laughs> we're back to you. Are you ready for your next prompt? Um. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, tell me, what would an elephant do if she wanted to move a mountain? Uh, you know what? I bet what she would do. She would tickle it. I'm pretty sure uh, if you tickle anything, it'll just get out of your way. One time I went to the grocery store. And there was a guy. He was in front of the eggs. You know, I've heard that there's a lot of issues with eggs lately. You know, like there's only so many chickens out there, am I right? Anyway, he was just standing in front of the eggs. I was, I needed to get the eggs. So I tickled him and uh, he moved and... <laughs> then he, uh, then he attacked me, and uh, that's the end of the story. That's, that sounds that sounds like exactly what would happen if you tackled someone in the grocery store. Holy shit! Uh, that's three points. There's there's not a reason right. yeah. to not give that three points. Um, all right. Uh, <laughs> uh, I like it all came back to eggs. Yeah. I think it was going to be a very egg centric, egg heavy uh, I'm, show. I'm a pretty eccentric person. Hey. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Let me ask you a prompt. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Chase, we're back to you. Are you ready for your next prompt? Yes, I am. All right. I want you to give me uh, names of expensive phones. Oh. iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> Android Galaxy 21. I don't know. They're all expensive. I don't need to make yeah. jokes about this. They are just all expensive. I don't know if you've ever bought a phone. Um I, I'm sure, like, one of the really old ones, the big brick ones, those are probably pretty expensive nowadays. Uh, iPhone 10, iPhone 11, uh, <laughs> iPad. That's not a phone, but you get the idea. Mm -hmm. uh, and if I could make one up, I would call it the Super Lux Ultra Wave. Hell yeah. So that, that's my answer. You you that have sounds expensive. mixed truth and fiction. <laughs> and, <laughs> and for that, I appreciate your answer, and you're going to get two points for that. I love two. <laughs> two! IPhone. Hell yeah. Uh, Mar, hey. back to you. Uh, are you ready for your next prompt? Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, your your next prompt is, uh, don't worry, it doesn't have the weird references this time. Uh, the epitome of your teenage worries. Hmm. Oh, my God. This is too real. I lost, uh, I lost my, uh, uh, cartridge of Yu-Gi-Oh! once, uh, for Game Boy Advance. Um, and I, uh, it was like, it was like the best game of Yu-Gi-Oh I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, and I got made fun of in school for losing it. Uh, but it's really cool. Uh, cause instead I got, uh, Sonic Advance 2 and I think that's a better one. Anyways. Hey, uh, that's, that's good. It all worked out in the end. It you got made fun of for losing your Yu-Gi-Oh cartridge? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone was playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And they said, no more Yu-Gi-Oh! for you. Yeah. And I got Sonic Advance, and I said, you know what? I'm out of here. Look at Dumbo yeah, like how, without how did they make? How did they make fun of you? Were they like, oh, you lost it, you loser. You're a loser. You lose things. Yes. That's what that means. <laughs> Damn. Incredible. That's what that means. That's how it goes. It's brutal. I'll tell you what, Mar. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you three points for that story because uh, I believe you. And because uh, I think the fact that you wrapped it up in it not being a big deal is kind of like very emblematic of most teenage worries is when you look yeah. at it after the fact, it's like, ah, it was fine. Everything was fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Got, got Sonic Advance out of it. Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Check it out. So uh, get a Game Boy Advance today. Uh, Peregrine, we are ready to move back to you. Are you ready for your next prompt? Okay. <laughs> I want you to give me the best answer to what is your first name? Peregrine. Uh, yeah, I mean, I chose Peregrine. I think it's a pretty good name. 
I have been having issues uh, since I started using it in real life where whenever I go to like a coffee shop and I have to give them my name, nobody knows how to spell it. Uh, so I've gotten Paraguay. I've gotten Paradren. Oh, no. I've gotten uh, Paraguay is definitely the funniest one. I don't know. But that, that it's is still probably the best name. I, I I I like I like your story, uh, and I'm Thanks. sorry that I'm sorry that uh, it's something that people have trouble with. Uh, it's to pretty be fair. Funny, most people have trouble getting their name spelled right at Starbucks. That's yeah, that's fair. Um, I mean, like the only reason I just like knew offhand how to spell it was because my sisters used to be like really big into Lord of the Rings, uh, so they would always spell Pippin's name Peregrine. The whole way out. Yeah, Peregrine took. Peregrine the, took. The, uh, this is my high fantasy voice. Peregrine took the, <laughs> the Hobbit. Uh, yeah, that's. I, uh, I'm gonna give you two points for your story. What? what sorry, what did Peregrine take? I, I took your heart. You took two points. That's what you took. I took two <laughs> points. I uh, when, when I first met Peregrine, I, I got their name mixed up with grenadine a lot, which is like <laughs> a, a, a sugar-based <laughs> syrup. What? Uh, because they have similar construction, the two the two words. <laughs> yeah, you know they what? They both have three so. syllables. Exactly. They both have G and R and D and E and etc. In, in. They got letters. In. in. It's got exactly, letters in it. Exactly. <laughs> That's it. It's, you can't argue with that. I'm ready. C certainly can't. You good to go? Yeah. All right. Uh, tell me what world leader you'd name your child after. <laughs> Obama. Yeah. Obama, because it would be very shocking, I think. I think people would be very confused. I was thinking about this, how people like don't name their kid Elvis anymore because there's already been a famous Elvis. I'm going to break that trend. I'm going to name my first child Obama, I think. <laughs> I, 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 I think it's never been a better time to start naming your children after very famous people. So like Obama, which was a very famously a last name, but I digress. Uh, or like <laughs> Queen of England, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. You get the idea. We should start naming our kids famous people again. That's that's incredible. I like the idea of naming would... naming your children uh, Queen of England and Obama. Yeah, Queen of I England, would... Obama, young. I would I would love to go to school with a quirked up white boy named Obama. Yeah, exactly. I went to I went to high school with a with a guy named Justice. He was very cool. Oh, that's actually a good Whoa. name. I would yeah. be honest with you. Solid it's name. cool. Um, and I'm gonna give you uh, I'm gonna give you two points for that one. If you believe it, that's the exact amount of points I wanted. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, Just for that, I'm going to take one away, Chase. Mar no. Oh, no. no. Don't do that. I won't. <laughs> uh, Marwa, back to you. Uh, are you ready for your next AI-generated prompt? Yeehaw! All right. Um, if you had two minutes to use every single object in your house, what would you use them <laughs> on? Huh. On? on? Like, on? <laughs> That's the preposition, yeah. Okay. What, do you do now, that I in Canada? Now... No, I, I'm just like... <laughs> I'm like looking at my room. <laughs> I have a ton of Amiibos, so I could just put it on my Wii U. I guess that's not really much of an answer, but like... Uh... <laughs> Can I eat all of them? Is it possible? <laughs> I'm hungry. Just, just nibble, nibble each one a little bit. Find out what I'll they all taste nibble, like. I'll nibble each one. I would use them on my stomach for eating. Delicious. I, you know, I, I, I'm gonna give you one point you for that. On, no. Um, but I was, I was really hoping with your Wii U thing, you would go the direction of like I would just scan everything with the Wii U to see if there's any hidden NFC chips in any of them. <laughs> That's true. I could have just done that. Can I? Can we go back? Nope. <laughs> Fuck. Are there do overs? <laughs> yeah, can no we restart? Actually, uh, I think uh, my microphone hasn't been on this whole time. Oh no, that would be. Uh, yeah, I actually, I'm not here yet. Can we start over? <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Can we start over? Yeah, no. So I don't know if you yeah, noticed. Sorry, uh, Audacity uh, crash. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, Mar or sorry, Peregrine. We're back to you. Uh, are you ready for your next prompt? Uh yeah. All right, cool. Uh, Tell me what you get when you cross a good soup with a bad hair day. I think I think you get gazpacho, baby. You ever had that hair of gazpacho? It's kind of like spaghetti, but it's really thin, really fibrous. Uh, last time I had it, you know what? You know what happened? I made a bezoar. Oh. I uh, I yeah, I turned all the hair in my stomach into a stone, and I sold it to a wizard. That wizard. Gives me uh, infinite 
uh, Gaspacho. It was a pretty good trade off. <laughs> I yeah. I, I like that. I appreciate that you just went for it. <laughs> <laughs> You just get that hairy gazpacho. It's like angel hair pasta, but literal hair. Mistakes yeah, in exactly. miracles, baby. <laughs> Mistakes in miracles. Uh, that's a that's a good two point answer. I liked that. Thank you. Um, now now you've learned what a bezoar is. I have. I have actually. Oh, I already knew what a bezoar is. I read Harry <laughs> Potter. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie, can I go? Can I do one? Uh, yeah, yeah. You can. Yeah, you want to you want to do the Great American Musical? <laughs> Oh, oh my god. I, I don't know if oh, I do, but I'll try. Oh, yeah. I'm going to start your time in three, two, one. <clears throat> Coming this September to Broadway, starring Neil Patrick Harris <laughs> uh, and some other gay actors as well. Come and bring the whole family to <laughs> Hamilton 2. <laughs> yep. Yes! That's right. We're going off the reservation with this one, folks. We're no longer looking at history books. Oh, Get excited oh, as Thomas Jefferson oh, my God. rides a UFO oh, this shit. September. Oh, Hamilton yay. 2. Hamilton 2. There you go. Incredible. That truly is the next great American musical. It's got to be, right? It's yeah, gotta I be. think so, too. Yeah, that's a three-pointer. That's a three-pointer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Holy no, shit. Ellie, when you told me this this week's lineup was going to include both Mar and Chase, uh, I was really concerned that the level of chaos was going to be pretty bonkers. Yeah, and so I added Peregrine and, that's and like, exactly... turn it up to 12. <laughs> Might as well, it's right? pretty chaotic in here. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Mar, we're back to you. Are you ready for your next prompt? Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. I want you to show me... Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, I, I'll, I'll, I'll wait till Mark gets hey! back. Hey! Ah, uh, he's gonna man? pluck a chicken. Can you get a man <laughs> over here, please? It's me, baby. Oh hell yeah! No, I'm sorry for stopping my... your timer. <laughs> you stopped my timer. That was all the bit. I'm sorry. No, Shit. it was. No, no, no. It was good. It was great. <laughs> Just like a man to get angry about nothing. <laughs> you, you get. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I'm on okay. twitter.com slash hey. uh, that That's three points. Take three points for that. That was good. <laughs> Thanks. The joke about man getting angry about nothing. The joke was Chase, right? That was you? That came out that's of your the, mouth? That's an addendum, yeah. Okay, you get a bonus point for that. That was fantastic. Wee! I love cheating. I, it's so much fun. I want to interrupt cheating. everyone from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh I'm taking God. the gloves off now, baby. I'm taking the gloves off. Street rules. <laughs> this bow tie, oh, it's off. Now, you didn't know I had a neck. Turns out, still don't. Anyways, <laughs> neck is bow tie shape. Um, Peregrine, we're back to you. Are you ready for your next prompt? Yeah. All right, uh, I want you to give me a movie character that could turn on her own spirit. Huh? You know, I bet. Yo, that guy from Spirit who uh, trains the horses. Yeah. He definitely turned, he turned on Spirit. He betrayed Spirit. <laughs> I thought it was really sad when yeah. at the end of the movie, they uh, they finally break into the naval base and uh, and they're about to get the constitution. Um, but then that guy, he turns to Spirit. He says, actually, I'm going to use the constitution and I'm going to become the president of the United States. <laughs> Man, spoilers! <laughs> Come on, dog. That's everyone knows. That's what happens when you get the Constitution. You then become that's, the president. That's why yeah, it's so yeah, well you, guarded. Yeah, if you get the if you get the Constitution, it gives you the power to become the president. It's like the golden snitch of democracy. <laughs> if you eat the Constitution, do you turn into permanent president? <laughs> yes, and that's what they stage. don't want you to know. Oh, oh my shit. god. I, I Ten like secrets that. the United States government doesn't want you to know. <laughs> Number three will make you shit your pants. <laughs> welcome to welcome to Watch Mojo. <laughs> uh, I liked that. Uh I I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna see what B thinks. B how many points do you think Peregrine should get for that? I think that was transcendent. It was world building. We learned some secrets about the government. Uh hope the FBI does not break down our doors. I'm gonna say that's a full three points, All baby. Right, three points for nice. Peregrine. Very, very cool. Chase, we're back to you. Are you ready for your I'm next prompt? 
Yeah, I'm, I'm really banking on this being like whose line rules and that the points don't matter and that we're just like gonna declare the winner on vibes because <laughs> then I'll have a better chance. Well, uh, <laughs> I, I will say that the uh, the audience has pretty consistently voted for the person uh, who ends up winning uh, in the All end. Right, okay. Uh, so you know, like I, I think I think I think honestly, the vibe check is going to be a big indicator. So uh, long sure. Ready to All right. Out. I'm I'm yeah I'm 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 ready to roll, baby. Ready, ready Just to like Optimus roll. Prime said. Uh, yeah. What does the Coca Cola sign stand for? Well, this is an age old question. I think everybody's been waiting for the answer for C. Crumptious, which is like scrumptious, but a little bit diet because less sugar in the new one. Oh, oh, baby. Yum, yum. I love that. Less sugar. <laughs> C. Can you believe they're putting less sugar in it? A. Ah. It's like when you drink something, it tastes good. Mm. C again. C. OK, we're going to the next C. And we see we've already used crumptious. We've already used can. And also, I only have five seconds left. C. Cola. O. Ola. L. La. A. Ah. <laughs> Coca-Cola. <laughs> buy it today. I'm Didn't sorry. My... I'm sorry, my Chase Young AI voice uh, thing just started glitching at the end there. Yeah, so. should, shouldn't have spent my first two thirds on the first half of uh, of the Coca Cola, but you know what? I did what I could. That's okay. You did. Just you right, did great. It's, you did just like writing Happy Birthday. You know, you guys exactly. are big chest. <laughs> you uh -huh. did great, and you're gonna get three points. I love three points. <laughs> uh, Mar, we're back to you. Are you ready for your next prompt? Yes. Uh, I want you to note the uh, quotation marks on this one uh, once again. I have not edited any of these. These are just the things that the AI has spat out verbatim. Quote, how can you get a boring fart to be exciting? End quote. Oh. <laughs> so, Yahoo answer question. Oh, oh, we're right in my wheelhouse, baby, because one thing I know, it, I know that some people out there got the most boring farts, but eat a bunch of stuff, eat a bunch of eggs. Oh, you're going to get the party going. You're gonna get, you're gonna go straight to the moon with how many eggs is gonna be coming out of your rear end. Uh oh. That was, uh -oh. Bad, that was a bad way to say that. Did we find out the source of the egg shortage? I have to go to the bathroom real quick. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that was funny. I liked that. Uh. I, uh, can, can I weigh in? Yeah. Uh, so I actually know how to get a boring fart to be exciting, and it's to add reverb. That oh! Is awesome. <laughs> yes! I, I love the that. Example. Mar, you get three points for that. Take take some take some threes. Yippee! Take all for me. Take all the and maybe some Bino. <laughs> Just a little Bino for fun. <laughs> take some Pepto Bismol too, please. Mm -hmm. I am Pepto Bismol. <laughs> um, True. <laughs> excuse me, I'm coughing. Take ass, little bitch. Peregrine, are you ready for your next prompt? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I want you to tell me about uh, how your favorite movie is really a movie about the apocalypse. Uh, my favorite movie? It's Spirit by Disney DreamWorks. Uh, it's actually a movie about the apocalypse because it's set in a world where everyone's died and become horses. You know, they all died and the horses came out of them. As they do. Um, they use uh, They use like birds and dinosaurs like technology. It's really crazy. And then they have to break into the naval base. Uh, and at the end, when they have the Constitution, he <laughs> turns to spirit and he says, I'm, but I'm the president. The timelines are colliding. <laughs> Holy shit. I can't keep track of what's canon anymore. <laughs> is someone's fire alarm going off? <laughs> that is a that is a septic truck right outside my house. I'm oh, so no. sorry. Oh, no. It's, it's there to collect the farts. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. There's so much continuity in this episode. Um, I... I'm watching it right now. I think they are actually here to... This is such bad timing. They're about to be very loud and suck all the shit out of my house. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> um, Peregrine, you're gonna Enjoy. get. Peregrine, you're gonna get. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna give you three points for that one. Yes. Uh, Chase, we're back to you. Uh, are you ready for your oh. next prompt? Yeah, I'm playing with a rubber band, but I can put it down. I mean that I've been playing with my little like uh, hair ties this entire time, so <laughs> it is oh, okay. Yeah. Um, what is the whole point of old boy? Oh, uh, that's a great question. Old Boy, the 2003 Korean film Old Boy. Great fucking flick, by the way. The whole point 
is to it's to uh, uh, well, fuck. Actually, I don't know what the moral of that story is. I just know it's a great film. The whole point of Old Boy is to get me in the theater and go, whoopee! I love fiction. It's so much fun to pretend that things are like this. <laughs> I, when in reality, the actual uh, the story of Old Boy, you wouldn't want it to happen in real life. It's quite horrifying. Um, so watch Old Boy unless you it's unless you don't want to see something bad. Then don't. That's the point. I, I, I'm gonna take your word for it. Uh, it's a great, really, really yeah, that good was movie. A, it's, it's awesome. That was such a good Chase pitch. Just, <laughs> Chase just described movies. It's so cool. Yeah. Specifically, Old Boy. I recommend. Don't watch the American remake. Watch the original Korean one. Uh, it is horrifying, and there are some very terrible things that happen in it. So go in with the. You they know, should replace with Nicole sort of Kidman with you in that uh, AMC intro thing. <laughs> I my dream gig is to if, I don't know how many people are gonna resonate with this, but Mike's super short show from the Disney Channel. Yes, uh, yes. I, yes. I, I, I wanna I want a gig like that. I wanna now I wanna know, be the new Mike super, Mike's short, super show. short show. Hell yeah. Mike super short show. Yeah, it's me. Perfect. Um, I liked I liked your review. I'm gonna give you two points for it. A clean two Great is job, all Mike. I ask for. Thank you. Good job, Mike. <laughs> Thank you. Mar, we're back to you. Are you ready for your next prompt? Okay. All right. Uh, I want you to tell me the surprising history of the Bounty Candy Bar. Well, all right. So there's a little bit of a of a American bias. Here's another freaking candy that I don't <laughs> know about because we don't have it here in Canada. I'm gonna look it up really quickly. What the fuck is that shit inside of it? <laughs> That's straight. That's straight up styrofoam. That you just put styrofoam inside of chocolate. That's nothing surprising about that. You put styrofoam in the chocolate bar. We have bounty. I haven't seen bounty actually. <laughs> Mar, yeah. it's manufactured by Mars. That's your on company. Mar Wait, on, it's been manufactured on Mars. How do we get it all the way up no, there to here? That's crazy. Mars. Thanks, Elon Musk. Yeah, Thanks for candy, Elon. Elon. Thanks, Elon Musk. See, Thanks for the shitty candy, Elon. Uh, Mar, if it makes you feel any better, I didn't know that that was a candy bar either until just Me now. Because yeah, yeah. No, I figured it was just the <laughs> AI putting silly words together, and I was thinking, oh, it thinks the paper towel company also made candy bars. Uh, but now that I know it's real and I know that you like looked it up to go look at it, you've, you've described it pretty adequately based on the images. So you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. Three points. Yeah! American candy any, shit. Yeah. Any chocolate bar that has coconut in it should be revoked from all stores. It's true. It should, gross. It should be illegal! I just, I just looked up the logo for it. This looks like, um, what's the, what's, uh, oh god, uh, song. Margaritaville. Oh God. A Jimmy Buffett. Jimmy Buffett. J yeah, this looks like a Jimmy Buffett candy bar. Shit. It, to me, it looks like uh, the packaging for like an air freshener. <laughs> it does. It really does. Uh, Paragon, we're back to you. Are you ready for your next prompt? Okay. Uh, I need you to tell me uh, who exactly stole the Jefferson Memorial statue. <laughs> it was Nicolas Cage. Again, he he got the Constitution. He became president. But wasn't enough. You know what he wanted to become next? Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> so he planned out the perfect heist. He hired Spirit from Disney's DreamWorks Spirits. <laughs> he hired Eggs from the grocery store. Oh, oh my god. He hired Jimmy Buffett to do the soundtrack. Jim! This is gonna be epic. <laughs> Jim! Like like fucking sweet life my so what, what's that fucking that one my so sweet life hannah montana or whatever the fuck it was called sweet life of zach and cody that's so sweet life hannah montana that's the one yeah that, <laughs> yeah, that was, that was yeah, my drink and drush whatever drink and drush called. you got drink it drink and drive <laughs> yeah <laughs> don't drink and drive uh, don't drink no. and drive but do don't drink do, and drive kids. don't do that thing uh, that's that's two Hi points. Hi kids, that's this is a public character. service announcement from your friends at Act Promptly. Don't drink and drive. I'm glad, I'm glad we're taking a firm stance on driving inebriated. I really <laughs> actually, think we had it. We we shouldn't have stayed silent for so long. Actually, when when I get the Constitution, and I become president. I'm gonna make drunk driving legal. Don't. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm gonna make it mandatory. Don't, don't do and it. And that's and that's how the apocalypse began. <laughs> Starring Spirit. Oh. I've always loved Star the video Spirit game Twisted Metal. So when I when I become president, I'm gonna make everything Twisted Metal. Shit. Uh, that's, when I that's become president, points. I'm gonna strap Chase to two big wheels. No. <laughs> My one weakness. <laughs> uh, B, you get that? That's two points for Peregrine for that one. Two points. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. I got thank it. you. <laughs> Chase, we're back to you. Are you ready for your My turn, part? my turn, my turn. I love it. Right. I'm ready to go. Uh, 
Names for someone who likes to kill. Oh. Peregrine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Same thought. Uh, here, let's check it out. Uh, Jeffrey Slaughter. Um, mm -hmm. Billy Stabs. Uh, mm -hmm. Killy Killian. Hey, Killian. Yeah. Uh, let's try. Uh, how about how about Georgie Georgie Dead Nation Button? All one word. Um, <laughs> and President George W. Bush. <laughs> Um, oh, shit. I think I got a I got a good array. You of got names them all. There, you named them all. <laughs> yeah, all murderers throughout history that was have been every named one killer of those ever. things. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. That's there three, you go. That's three points. That's three points. Yeah, you I really love. Brought it home there. My <laughs> heart is full of joy. God Thank damn. you. That, that you know that list fits perfectly with like Dick Dastardly and Robbie. Yeah, Rotten yeah and I was trying to go for that. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, uh, we're back to you. Are you ready for your last prompt of the round? Oh, really, the last one. Of the round. I'm gonna miss them. I'm gonna miss them too. Uh, <laughs> I want you to uh, give me the expert on animatronics. Oh, Ooh. the expert on animatronics. You ever heard of uh, uh, Walt Disney? That guy had all sorts of animatronics. Uh, they made a Mickey one, they made Chuckling Cheese. They made uh, all sorts of crazy shit move. I just watched uh, I just watched a clip of the Hulk come in uh, with big stupid legs and big stupid arms, and he sounded very very bored. Yeah, that's right. Then he did that one. Uh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, you just you were you just reading off of the script of a video essay. It's the next defunct land, yeah. <laughs> the next defunct yeah, land. Yeah, I just yeah, I'm new defunct land. That's I me. I would like to commend you on your ability to refrain from making a Five Nights at Freddy's joke. Thank I would you. not have been that strong. Appreciate yeah. that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I, I, think don't, I don't play that video play game. Right there. Yeah, I uh, hate video games. Yeah, you know what? You know what? Uh, I was gonna give you two points. B is offering you an extra point for that, and so we're gonna make it three. Woohoo! Let's go. <laughs> he deserves it. Uh, Let this be a lesson to you, kids. Making jokes about Five Nights at Freddy's never pays. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Crime never pays. <laughs> uh, Peregrine, we're back to you. Are you ready? Yeah. Um, I, I, I'm going to show you the prompt, and I'm also going to follow it up with a, with a comment that I think is interesting. But the prompt is, can a horse give birth to a fox? And I got to okay. say, this AI was really fixated on prompts about horses giving birth for a while, and I had to pick just one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who isn't from time to time? So I'm going to start. Yeah, honestly, I, I, I've read a lot about horse birth. Uh... All right. I was just thinking that I haven't been doing any skits. I was going to do a skit for my next one. So I guess I'm going to do an impression of a horse giving birth to a fox. Uh, I think I'm going to flip open to an important reference. I'm going to go to furfinity.com. Right. Type, type, type. All right. I'm ready. Oh, hey, fox. Oh, yif, yif, yif. That's the sound of the fox coming out. I'm alive. I'm alive. Yeah, you should be Yahoo. No, wow. Peregrine, you can't just do that. I was captivated. That's what they say, right? I think faint. From what I know, yeah. Yeah, we never did figure out what the fox says, so sure. it might be that, yif. That guy just made a bunch of stupid noises, and we just took him at his word. Oh my god. Yeah, that's that stupid. Are you talking song. about me? That's three points. No. That's I'm talking about I'm fucking dying over here. I'm talking about Yulvis. Yeah, Yulvis. Yulvis from Swinland. That was three points, Ellie? That's three points. Holy shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> Actually, I do know what sound foxes make because I used to have them uh, in my yard and they just scream like humans in the middle of the night. Oh. And that's not a joke. Are you sure they weren't just like furries in costumes? Are no. You, yeah, are you sure they weren't just uh, guys? <laughs> <laughs> just dudes. I've met some just short dudes. furries. Bill mm, Goss. Sure uh, Chase, we're back to you. Are you ready for the last prompt of the round? Yeah, I'll try to make it count. Alrighty. Uh, what do you get when you cross a bookstore and a library? Hey, folks, have you heard this one yet? What do you get when you cross a bookstore and a library? I'll tell you what you get. You get smarter. Fund government projects, specifically those that have to do with public welfare. All knowledge and information that has been aggregated throughout years in books should be free. 
the, it's the, the stupidest thing that they're not open on weekends and holidays and they don't open past 9 p.m. They're trying to make us stupider, people. I'm telling you, this is what I've been saying. I'm out of time, but you get the idea. Here's, here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing is that you're uh -huh. absolutely correct. And you've uh -huh. also perfectly embodied, like, that stand-up comedy nowadays is really just people shouting their opinions very loudly. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. That's what I was going for, so, so you I'm get, glad you picked you, up on that. You get three they points They wanted a that. platform louder than Twitter. Three! <laughs> that's that's I'm it. Being, I, I, I'm being canceled, I say, from my Netflix special. <laughs> right. <laughs> you get three points for that. Uh, at the end of our first round, let's take a look at the scores. Uh, currently, we have Mar with 21 points, Peregrine uh -oh. with 23, and Chase with 25 uh -oh. points. Uh, it, is, it is still very early game and it is uh, it is anybody's game still. Uh, we are going to do a fun little uh, mini game before we move on to our, our break between <gasps> rounds. Um, who's who's ready who's ready for a game that is smaller than a usual me, game? Me, 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 I love it. That's like Mario Party. Me. I'm small, I'm small. <laughs> Alrighty. Me. Our mini game is called The Writer's Room. Uh, I am going Ooh. to give you all a prompt to respond to as a team. The catch is that you can only say one word at a time and you must take turns. So for instance, if your prompt was to MC a live show, Mar might say, welcome. Then Peregrine would say, two. And Chase would say, the. And then we come back to Mar who would say, show. You get the idea. Oh, this uh, is classic. Are we gonna go in that order? Uh, yeah, we are gonna go in that order. Um, we will go until uh, it feels complete or I cut you off. And uh, right. another thing, we're not gonna be sticklers about technicality here. So things like ice cream or 87, those can count as one word, not a big deal. Uh, just, you know, try to try to keep it in the spirit of the game. So, uh, the first one for this mini game. Are you all ready? Yes. Yeah. Is, <laughs> yeah. is um, applying for a job as the social media manager of hell. And we're going to start with Mar. One word at a time. <laughs> Hot. Dog. <laughs> Water. <laughs> <laughs> Can I put it? Period, right? That's fine. <laughs> just, say, just say period. Anyway. <laughs> was I, wait, oh, it's period anyway. Wait. Welcome. Yeah. To, sorry. My. Resume. <laughs> As. Declaration of Independence. Oh my god. Oh my hyphenated. god. Hyphenated or... <laughs> Hello? I'm sorry. My brain went blank. Okay. No, no, no. no. We're, we're, that's that's canon. It's too late right now. Talk, ain't no control yeah. Z on this train. Um, <laughs> is... Document... In... America... Allegedly... Makes... Me... Angry because it's so powerful. Anyway, <laughs> uh, period. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> this resume sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> please don't. Not higher. <laughs> For the, it's it's hyphenated. <laughs> the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> I'm gonna cut you off there. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Holy shit! I, ooh. oh my god. That was you know I don't know if the, I don't know if the the prompt was really I don't know if it really went through. No, <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> But I liked it. We got, hey, I, I put resume in there. That's got to count for something. You did. You did. Uh, so you know what? Uh, Y'all are going to get two points for that one. <laughs> uh, fair enough. That's all right. Hey, what are you, you going to do? What? You got... Yeah, that's, that's fine. <laughs> you managed to get the get the dust off for, for the second one. Are you all ready for the yeah, second that, one? That was the, it was the warm up. We pressed Z on the Mario Party game. In the business, we call that a hand warmer. So... <laughs> There you I'm go. all, I'm all, all right. I'm all readied up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be laser focused on this next prompt. I'm gonna make it reasonable. <laughs> Alrighty, with your hands warmed, uh, I want you to give me, and this time we're gonna start with Peregrine, um, a oh, PSA really? about salting your pasta water with unnecessarily high stakes. So. Get this. Well, no, nah, it's two words. Fuck. Get. This. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Pasta is delicious 
especially when salt is deftly allegedly <laughs> supposedly particularly matter of factly hyphenated added <laughs> to yummy dinner broth <laughs> period <laughs> sauce tomato <laughs> <laughs> It is? <laughs> sort of free association we got going on here. Delicious. Sauce. You know? Question mark? Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you to raise those stakes real fast. Oh shit, oh yeah, fuck, I forgot about that part. Uh, I also oh, shit. forgot about that. Uh, but... Knife. <laughs> Can. Hurt. Pasta. So. Don't. Use. It. <laughs> All right, that's fine. I'll cut you off there. <laughs> Does that count? <laughs> oh, man. I was just going to say, we, we definitely were closer to the prompt that time. Yes. Than hot dog water anyway. <laughs> Welcome to my resume as Declaration of Independence is documented in America. Yes, so. <laughs> definitely. Um, tell you what. I uh, am transcribing these in the chat, just to be clear. Good, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to give two points to Peregrine and Chase, and I'm going to give three points to Mar, because I feel yeah. like Mar was the most on top of it that time. That yeah, that's reasonable. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fair. All right, y'all uh, y'all have y'all have one more shot to make me not regret <laughs> making this mini game. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> no, it's no. I'm having a great time. I'm having a great time. This is really fucking funny. We have um, to redeem ourselves. <laughs> all right, uh, all right. Here we go. Dramatic monologue after your hot take tweet has been ratioed. Radioed. <laughs> by a picture of. A, I guess I guess it just auto auto corrected to radioed uh, by a picture of a horse. Who goes first? Uh, Chase, Chase, you go first for this one. All right. Okay. Listen. Up. You. Motherfuckers. <laughs> I. Haven't. Done. Anything. Fucking. At all. <laughs> and yet. I've. Been ratioed by stupids horse <laughs> online. <laughs> Period. That's not okay. <laughs> Period. <laughs> I <laughs> will kill all horse people <laughs> and their families. <laughs> <laughs> Today, <laughs> so get bet. Bitches. That's perfect. I'm gonna cut you off there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and we did it. <laughs> Fucking incredible. Uh, yeah. You know what? Uh, three points for everyone. That was you. Yay! Yay! That was perfect. That was perfect. No notes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry that the prompt said radioed for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I was almost gonna roll with it, with being like, "Yes, yeah, so I, I here comes a picture of a horse." Mm -hmm. ah, I'm, I'm getting word now from Colonel Nay. <laughs> And that's good. the end of my joke. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> At the end of uh, our mini game, our scores are Mar with 29, uh, Peregrine oh. with 30, and Chase with 32. <gasps> so the scores are tightening up just a little <gasps> bit. The second round is called Someone Else's <clears throat> Blank. Uh, for each prompt, I will start with one player who I will ask for a word, like a noun or a verb, or maybe something a little more specific, like a person's name. Uh, then that word will fill out the blank of a prompt, and the next player has to act that out. 
So like, uh, just like the first round, the acted out prompt will be worth one to three points. Uh, but if I like the word you're filling in, uh, if, if I'm asking you to just give me one word and I really like that word, I might give you a bonus point for it. Who knows? Mm. Um, I swear to God, Peregrine, if your word is just the Declaration of Independence every time. <laughs> no, I have to get out of my head. You're getting I have to get away points. from it. <laughs> I need to stop. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start uh, with, with Mar. Uh, I want you to give me a noun. Uh, Bintendo. Bintendo? Yep. All right, uh, Peregrine, I want you to tell me what your dogs probably think about your Bintendo. Man, they probably are, like, really pissed off about that thing, because I stare at it all day, my Bintendo. And when I'm staring at, at it, I'm not, like, throwing ball or throwing stick or generating food. They probably, <laughs> like, hate that thing and wish... You know what? I bet they're probably, like coming up with a plan to get rid of my Bintendo. I bet they're going to put it in the, in the in the garbage. I have to save my Bintendo. I can't let this happen. <laughs> Gotta save it from those fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that. Um, I, I think you've, you've developed quite the conspiracy, and I think I'm going to give you two points for that. Yay! Um, Chase. Yes. Like for you to give me a verb. Chase. Chase says in the verb chase. <laughs> All right. Yes. Okay. Uh, Mar, I want you to give me uh, a stray reptile that chases. <laughs> Have you seen that crazy little piece of shit? Well, that's not actually not that little. It's called a Komodo dragon. <laughs> the thing about that thing is that it, it'll look straight at you and it's just going to gun for you. Oh, now, shit. there's a couple of different ways that you can avoid that. Uh, if you jump really, really high, it will no longer chase after you. Uh, or, here's the thing, gotta get real low. Won't see you, because it's got bad eyesight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's got the worst fucking eyesight of all time. It's got the worst eyesight of all time of all reptiles, Komodo Dragon. It's pathetic. Um, <laughs> get yeah, some you know glasses. Let's, let's, give you, let's give you two points for that. Uh, okay. we, we here at Act Promptly do not condone this as actionable advice when facing down a Komodo dragon, so no. please take this advice with a grain of salt. Yeah, several. <laughs> several. Um, Peregrine, I would like you to give me uh, a name, like a, like a person's name. doesn't have to be real. Oh, uh, Timothy Bingle. Timothy Bingle. All right. Yeah. Uh, Chase, I want you to give me yeah. uh, the oldest rock band with a lead singer named Timothy Bingle. Oi, what's up? It's me, Timothy Bingle. Uh, welcome to my <laughs> welcome to my the final reunion concert of me and my band, the G Jiminy Crickets. Uh, it's true, we we're the oldest punk band in the UK, uh, and we're, we're we're now stopping our reunion tours to give uh, thanks to the Queen for all she's done for us. Thank you, Queenie. We love you. A lot of people say loving loving the monarchy is not punk. But I say, fuck you! My name's Timothy fucking Bingo! There you go. Thank you for the music, I appreciate it. The classic song that you, you listen to when you're talking about the queen. Oh, it's only respectful. Um, Peregrine, was that you giving the music? Yeah. Very good, you get a bonus point for that. Chase, you get three points. Yay! Yeah. All right. Uh, Mar, we're back to you. Uh, I want you to name a store. Daisy Mart. Daisy Mart. All righty. Oh. Uh, Peregrine, I want you to give me, uh, what is the most expensive item on sale at Daisy Mart? Most expensive on sale? Uh, today, I'm going to Daisy Mart. I'm really excited. By the way, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's called uh, Shopping with Peregrine. And uh, they're having a big sale today on the most expensive item at Daisy Mart. And it's called the Daisy Mart TV. It's a TV, and when you turn it on, you can go inside of it and have adventures with all your favorite friends from TV, uh, like Homer Simpson and his funny little little family. Oh, not Homer! <laughs> wow, his funny not family. Homer. I never remembered I... their name. Uh, what's, yeah, what's the name of the family on The Simpsons? That was. There's... You get the Persona Four experience, but real. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I. Here's here's the thing. Traditionally, when we reach round two, I become evil Ellie and I start getting really yeah. stingy with the points. 
Um, uh -oh. I, I want I want to give you one point for that, but <gasps> I'm gonna consult with B. B, should should this be one point or should it be should it be more than that? Uh, yes. So just just the one point, one and a half. <laughs> <laughs> one, one and a half. Like Can you do that? I <laughs> compromise. Yeah. I never got to wrap up my little YouTube channel storyline. Oh. I understand. <laughs> it's okay. You'll 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 get the funding someday. Um, I'm I'm just honing my abilities right now. I get that. Uh, Chase, we're back to you. I need you to give me a piece of media. A piece of media. Yeah, so like a movie uh, or a game. The does the Book of Mormon count? That's ab that's great. That, that yeah, works. I'm talking about the book, not the play. So the, the book, so the actual Book of Mormon. There you go. <laughs> okay. Well, this is going to make this next one very confusing, but I do like your answer. Uh, Mar, I want you to tell me about the live band that played on the Book of Mormon soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's me, the Beatles. Uh, and welcome to the Book of Mormon. And, and you know what they say? <laughs> Mar, who doesn't know anything about Mormons. I, I, all we need is love, baby. Absolutely. Uh -huh. We've got that. Uh, uh, Jesus, I think. We're bigger than him. I love, I love it. Absolutely. Ringo Starr, peace and love. Peace and love, peace and love. Peace and love. Oh my God. I, I don't think I'll ever get over It's Me, The Beatles. It's, it's me, me, the Beatles. The Beatles. Uh, shit. That's um. I'll give you three points for it. Why not? Uh, <laughs> Why I, not? I keep wanting to say how many points I would give, and then stopping myself. Like, wait a minute, I'm not the host. <laughs> wait a minute. That's not your job. That's not my <laughs> um, Peregrine, I would like you huh. to give me a plural noun. Aromas. Aromas. Oh. You're gonna get a bonus point for that for that suggestion. <laughs> Uh, and Chase. They love smelling. Yeah, what's up? Uh, your, your prompt is, there's nothing better than aromas. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Welcome pe to Pepperidge Farm. <laughs> it's get, it's, uh, the leaves are starting to fall and the sun's coming down late. As this autumnal time of year comes around, I'd like to remind all our folks at home, there's nothing better than aromas. Starting with our new cookie line, different smells for different people. We got... <laughs> The C, which is a cookie you can eat. We got fungus. We got dirt. Yes. We got leaves. Yes. All the things that you associate yes. with fall. So come on down to Pepperidge Farm and eat our hard thing. <laughs> I love dirt. <laughs> I love fungus. Oh man, you bumped. I love it. leaf. I, I gotta yes. say, I gotta say, Chase, that was a two pointer. Mm -hmm. You bumped it up to three with <laughs> come bite our hard thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's what those little cookies are. <laughs> It's so true. Yeah. You're so correct. Um, I want some ginger is snaps now. a hard now. thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's, exactly. That's three points for that one. Um, I love it. I think we're ready to move on to the. Oh, wait. Hold on. Uh, What's? Uh oh. There's there's something on that? my. Uh, I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, this is this is one of my playing cards. Oh shit. I forgot. Oh no. The Joker's been here. I know. I left oh. it here in the middle of the round. That's okay. Let me let me just flip it over. I'm curious to see what card this is. Oh <gasps> shit. <gasps> What does that mean? Oh fuck! That's the this is the Uno reverse card. This oh this Jesus up and down arrows. Yeah. So oh that, my God! It's the Reblog button yeah, so from that Tumblr. Means, that means we have to change the player order. Shit. Oh what? Okay. Uh, oh. Hey, so uh, Chase, um, oh. can you give me a verb? I sure can. I was gonna say Chase again, but I'm not gonna do that again. <laughs> Don't do that. Um, <laughs> uh, 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 ch chomp. Chomp. All right. Yeah. Uh, that's a that's a bonus point suggestion. I like it. Um, <laughs> Peregrine, I want uh, you to tell me about the rapper that says, "I'm pretty sure that I'm going to chomp when you see them on TV." <laughs> it's my favorite rapper, Pac-Man. Yeah, he's broken into the business. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, with his uh, his. <laughs> Why was there a bell? Sorry, continue. <laughs> uh, his hit single, uh, finally getting them on the charts. I'm pretty sure I'm going to chomp. Uh, but, you know, he has a lesser known song that I like even a little bit more. It's called, I'm going to eat all those yummy little dots and then uh, kill a dead guy. It's really good. <laughs> Real one track mind that pack, man. Oh, my yeah. God. Oh shit! I like that because not not only did you did you see it through very well, Pac-Man. If it weren't already the name of a thing, sounds like a rapper name. 
That's true. Exactly. Yeah. That's actually true. Perfect. Uh, I, I would like to apologize for the ding because I was moving my phone away farther from me so it wouldn't distract me. And then I hit a little, I have a little bell that oh. I got from Goodwill for $3. It's got a smiley face on it. Won't happen again. I've moved that farther away from than my phone. That's okay. I apologize. That's, yeah, that's three Chase, I was about to dock you a point for not turning your phone on silent during the stream. And you just saved yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, for a moment, I thought you were saying that your phone had like a physical bell attached to no. it. No, no, I went to Goodwill and I got a bell with a little smiley face on it. Nice. Uh, awesome. Peregrine, you are gonna get three points for that response. Yeah! Um, and- <laughs> That was violent. <laughs> uh, Mar, uh, I need you to give me uh, another noun. <laughs> another noun? Yeah. It's so hard to think of things. It's so hard to think of now. It's laptop. Laptop. All right, cool. Easy. <laughs> Perfect. Laptop. Uh, Chase. Yes. Too much laptop. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> uh, Grog think children today. They, they, they on computer too much. They, they on phone. They on iPod. They on iPad. They on laptop. Too much laptop. Why not go outside? Beat stick with other stick. Make fire. Back in Grug day, Grug make, br Grug make new invention every day. Invent wheel, invent lever. Grug think too much laptop nowadays. Child pronouns. <laughs> Good. Hey, so, Great. That's what I got. No, you, yeah. no, you, True. you nailed it. You nailed it. Uh, they really Grug be like that. I, damn, Grug is on something. <laughs> hmm. He's just saying what we're all thinking. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's it. That's a three pointer. Wee, ha -ha, three -pointer. wee, wee, wee. Uh, I love it. Peregrine, yeah. I want you to name a being. Oh, oh man, oh. El Chupacabra. El Chupacabra. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Mar. Be a Chupacabra. <laughs> I'm always saying this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, was that? Oh, was that a sheep over there? <laughs> All right. Oh boy, I hope my sheep are okay. Oh god. Oh no. Hi, I'm the chupacabra. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I'm full. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, Mar, you get three points. Peregrine, you get you get a bonus point for for the assist. Nice. <laughs> Do you know that chupacabra means goat sucker? Oh, yes. That's true. Yeah. Uh, Chase, we're back to you. Uh, just give me a word. Yes. Just give me a word. Any word. The. the. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Come on. <laughs> Peregrine. Yay. The world's most popular response to the question, <laughs> why not the? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I think the most popular response is probably what I'm having right now, which is confusion, <laughs> regret, rage, <laughs> overflowing rage, just like, kind of like, I, I'm, I'm just like angry at Chase in the world. <laughs> right now, I feel kind of like, I don't know, I think I need to change something about the world right now. I think I might kill Chase. Oh, God. Yeah, sorry. Don't. I put down my little Mario Kart banana peel and you, we, you fell right no! into my trap. No! <laughs> no! Jesus, like, jokes on you, I'm already dead. <laughs> I'm playing the long game. Incredible. Uh, that is, that's that's a two-pointer. You get two points for that one. Yeah. Very Thanks, good. Chase. <laughs> uh, I'm a stinker. Mar. Yeah? I would like you to give me an adjective. Stinky. stinky. <laughs> I knew you were gonna do that. I knew Fuck you were gonna you. say stinky. <laughs> uh, You're Chase. in my head. Get out. <laughs> Chase, uh, mind the quotation yeah. marks. Quote: okay. Has it ever occurred to you that she could be stinky? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah. Of course, of course, it's occurred to me. Yes, obviously, it's occurred to me. But there's something so special about her. I don't. I don't know. I. When when I was when I decided to get married to somebody who worked down at the fertilizer plant, I I really you know I, I I took that as as one of the things that I would have to get used to. But you know what? Me and Gruntilda, we love each other, and it doesn't matter that she rolls around in doo 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 all day. It, it's it's what's important to me is not her smell, but her smile. Okay, 
So wow. stop asking so many questions about my marriage, please. That's hey, uh, sticking up, sticking up for your for your wife Gruntilda from Banjo Kazooie. I love her very much. Did you see how uh, this is post machine Gruntilda, by the way? Yeah. Uh, this is the game over timeline where Banjo failed. Oh, I love that musician. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very good, very good. Uh, yeah, you know what? Uh, that's gonna give you three points. I'm hoping for, I was gonna hope, I was gonna say, I was hoping for at least one point. Definitely, uh, def nice. the only way you can earn zero points is by saying, no, I'm not gonna do this one. <laughs> 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 um, no, it was good, I enjoyed it. Um, hey, thank all you. Right. Uh, one more for this round. Uh, Peregrine, I need you to give me a plural noun. Sons. S-O-N-S. S-O-N-S. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, you're going to you're gonna get a bonus point for that one. Oh, and also, B, uh, yeah. could you give Mar a bonus point for Stinky? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yay! Stinky. Thank you. I forgot it to It rules to be Stinky! <laughs> stinky! Um, stinky! Uh, so, Mar, this last one's for you. Where in the heck are the suns? <laughs> What's my son? What's my son? It's me, the uh, fucking fish from Finding Nemo. Where's my <laughs> sons? I have another one. I lost one again. I did it so bad. Where's my sons? There's two of them now. And uh, I, Dory, I, you gotta stop forgetting because it's my sons. I, I don't know where he went. Where the heck is this? This is my sons. Oh, wait, he's over there. Never mind. I found him. Everything's cool. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> That's the two that, sons. That is my favorite. Two sons. That is my, my favorite impression sons. of Marlin. Is that his name, Marlin? Yeah, yeah. it's Marlin. I, oh, yeah. I thought it was I, Franklin. I, I forgot his name. That is, regardless, <laughs> that is the best impression I've ever heard of Marlin from Finding Nemo. So you, you're gonna get three points for that. Where's my fucking son? Where's my son? It's me, the fucking fish. <laughs> Where's my doll? All right. I'm a fish and I'm full I of think, emotions. Watch out. I, <laughs> Finding Nemo 3, they should swear more. They should swear yeah. more. Uh, let's yes. take a look at our scores. Uh, currently, we have uh, <laughs> Mar with 41 points, Peregrine with 42 and a half, and uh, Chase with 45 points. Completely forgot about the half point that Peregrine got. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. We keep I oh have three digits, so I must be winning. <laughs> That's how that works. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure. We are going to move on to uh, our final mini game, and then after that is going to be the final round of the show. Uh, this last oh. mini game, I'm very happy with. I, I came up with it at the last second today. Uh, this mini game is called Rip Queen. Uh, oh. <laughs> Her Majesty, oh the God, Queen dude. of the United States of America, has just oh. died. Eulogize her according to the prompt. Uh, you will not, okay. you will not I... be timed for this one, and your prompts are going to be like really vague. But okay, okay. Uh, I I fully misread that as euthanize. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, so what we're going to do is we are going to we are going to go one by one. Uh, we are going to start with Mar again. Um, are mm -hmm. you are are you ready? Yes. Okay. Uh, you can begin your eulogy. You loved her. I, the thing about her is that I loved her and I donated all the bits to the president queen and all, and all the, I was tier three sub and I, I loved her so much and I think she liked it. She said my name once uh, when she was on the fucking podium. Well, whatever the fuck it's called on President <laughs> Queen's stand. And it was so awesome. And I loved her. And I'm so <laughs> sad that she's gone. <laughs> fuck. 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 It's a, re it's a real tear drip. <laughs> wow. We're gonna we're gonna move the on Oscar to Oscar uh, goes to Mar. We are going to move on to uh Peregrine for 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 their piece of the eulogy. Uh Peregrine, you hated her. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm really sorry to hear that she died. Uh, yeah, she was like a great person, right? Like we all totally loved her, <laughs> right? I mean, I totally loved when she, um, you know, like knocked down my house so she could build a second white house uh, on my plot of land because she wanted to use my apple trees. <laughs> 
She was re she always envied my apple trees so much. By the way, now she's dead, and I guess like I get to have my apple trees back now, right? Anyway, they, they built the White House. <laughs> anyway, uh, rest in peace to the queen. All right, we're going to move on to Chase for the third part of the eulogy. Uh, Chase, was, you felt yeah. neutral about her. All right. <clears throat> Who? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. No notes. Um. All right. Here's how this is gonna. Here's how this is gonna play out. We are gonna give. Right. We're gonna give Mar three points. And an Oscar. And an yeah. Oscar. <laughs> Mar gets three points for that. Uh, Peregrine, you yeah. get two points. And Chase, you also get two points. I love it! <laughs> Yay! Who? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Very good. I felt, I felt very strongly about that answer, yeah. You felt very strongly about feeling neutral. Oh, yeah. Uh, we are just about to go into uh, the last round, but before we do, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up a poll in the Twitch chat. Um, so if you are watching uh, on Twitch on desktop, you can vote in the poll. And... Um, this is a who's killing it poll. It's uh, it's who, who you think is doing a good job, who you would like to give some give some bonus points to. I'm going to show you all the score. Uh, right now, we've got Mar with 44, Peregrine with 44 and a half, and Chase with, <laughs> <laughs> with 47. Uh, so it is still very, very much close game going into our final round. Um, and we will count up the uh, audience poll score uh, just before we uh, give the final scores at the end. But right now, we are about to get into round three, which, as always, is Act Ensemble. So we're going to act these prompts out all together to earn uh, one to three points each with no time limit. Um, I'm going to bring us all over to the uh, triple view screen so you can all see the prompt. Um, for each one of these, I am going to uh, let you know who is who in the scenario, and then y'all are just going to act it out until it feels like it's over, or I cut you off. Um, real quick. Yes. Uh, Mar, team huddle over here. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah I think we should team up, team up against Chase and take Chase down. Love yeah, I think, I think uh, it should be a. Yeah, I think yeah. I'm gonna. I think it's a good idea. I oh, mean, wow, both. The sun is I know. I know. Today. Chase is is a little bit taller, but like I feel like the both of us with our combined strength, if we get on each other's shoulders, we're like forget? the size of like a regular <laughs> guy. Yeah. So, I think I'm can, pretty sure that if we were dinner. regular guy sized, uh, Chase would just get really scared and give up. So anyway, yeah, exactly. Don't shit his pants. What pants? I hope I don't shit my pants today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you, thank you, Ellie. <laughs> if we're ready to move on to round three, uh, this is your prompt for the first part. Uh, parent breaks news to kids that they won't get their 17th trip to Disney World in the single year. Uh, hmm. For this, Mar, you are the parent. Peregrine, Chase, you are the kids. All and right. You can start whenever you're ready. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Listen, here's the thing. You didn't you didn't get basketball game good in uh the team. You didn't do it good. It was all bad. Uh, you know I hate Rudy the coach. You I, know I hate him. Yeah, here's you know the thing. I'm you could, to you could hate Rudy, but at the end of the day, you gotta throw that basketball in the, in the corks. You gotta put hey, you ball. Gotta that thing. Hey, ball, you know I wanna be golf. We can't afford gold. The thing's too big. There's I want it to many... be an anime club. <laughs> oh, what, don't, don't get me started sports. on anime club. You know what I've been saying about anime club? I hate it. I hate I heard, anime club. I heard you know they're, they're gonna they're gonna have anime at Disney, <laughs> and I don't we, get to yeah. see it. Yeah, here's the thing. No, yeah, no, that's and that's also the other reason why. Uh, we're not going to Disney. There's going to be all no! sorts of anime in there. Uh, uh you know what? No, no more. There's no more Love Hina. There's no more. No! Uh, no more. No more. Uh, another anime off the top of my head. I really, uh, really want to go. I want to go to Epcot and I want to see my favorite character. Girl, Surely there's still Kaiji, them. right? We should, we're still no, gonna have so Kaiji, Kaiji, right then? Kaiji. We're oh! Kaiji. <laughs> that's good. I, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's good. I liked that. Uh, I think y'all played off of each other very well. Um, I think y'all are gonna get just three points for that. 
Yay! Yay. That, was, that was real good. That was real good. Well done. Well done. This is great practice for my child. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good, hey, good luck, man. <laughs> this is great practice for when I talk to my parents. Yeah, this is great parents for when I got to throw a tantrum next time. <laughs> All right. Are we ready for the next one? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, everyone has a vague but very adamant interest in my pie recipe. Uh, Peregrine, it's your pie recipe. Mar, oh. Chase, you you are the ones with the vague but very adamant interest in it. Uh, right. <clears throat> okay. So you can start whenever you're ready. Hey, guys. Um, thank you so much for inviting me to the potluck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, I see mm, that you're yeah. sniffing my basket. Oh, yeah, yeah. Loop. Got yeah. One of your, got one of your famous pies in there. Is that? Is that? Maybe. Oh, is that wow. Little, is that a little? You'll pie? never guess what's in it. <laughs> yeah, what's, I mean, in, what's in there? How do you make that? You'll thing? never guess. I, what? Don't make me guess. Uh, but my pie is um still pretty hot. I think I do. You have a window? Oh, it's hot. All right. I could uh. <laughs> Do you have a window so I could lay it on to do finish cooling down? Oh yeah, you can use mine. How do you make how do you make it look like that? I'm salivating for no reason. <sighs> oh, oh, I'm slipping! Oh no! I'm oh! Pie. I'll catch your pie! Oh. I slipped on all the drool! My pie is flying into the air! Oh! oh. 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 Opens, up, opens up my oh. mouth and catches This is all I could have asked for! Oh. Oh. I'm oh gonna stop you there. I'm gonna stop you Mar there. Mar <laughs> Sorry. I'm why? I could keep going. I know you could. That's why I need to stop. so horny for that pie. <laughs> Mar and Chase just collided, collided in midair going for the pie. They ate each other. It was really sad. That <laughs> now, now Chase is in my tummy for no reason. <laughs> That was. Uh, oh, is that what happened? That was not very vague, but it was incredibly adamant, and I was. I, I'll be real. I was scared. Uh, well, I'll, ha I'll have you know that I didn't outright state what my my my, my motivation was. That but, is uh, that is true. That is true. Um, I think regardless, what's going to happen is uh, Mar Chase, you're going to get two points. Peregrine, you're going to get three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need I'll to you know talk about I did, I did a cartoonish. Uh, lick around my lips, and now my lips are all salivating. It sucks. Oh my god! I don't like having wet lips. <laughs> I am now thinking about boysenberry pie and getting getting hungry and hungry. Hell yeah! Okay. Can wait. I spend points to tell worse jokes? Uh, no. <laughs> Damn. You know what? Yes. Yes. Chase. Uh, keep that. If you, he if says Chase, yes. If, oh, sorry. You get one. You get one shot, Chase. You can spend one point to tell a terrible joke. I will let you do that. All right. <clears throat> hey, what do you call? Uh, what do you call a dog in the summer? It's hot dog. Fuck. <laughs> I hope that was that worth- That cost you a point? I hope that was worth the point. Oh, uh, what am I doing? All right. Are Chase, if you, oh, if you win, Ch Chase, if you won, you can put a pie on your, um, on your wish. Throne oh wish list. <laughs> on your wish. Uh, uh, you know what? I'll consider that. Very consider good. Sort of crowdfunding a pie. Yeah. We've got we've got exactly one prompt left of the game. Are y'all ready for it? Yes. <gasps> yes. Okay. Courtroom gradually fills with helium. I'm going to I'm going to like kick ass at this one, guys. Here's here's how this is going to work. Mark. Okay. Yeah. You are uh speaking on behalf of the plaintiff, Peregrine. You're speaking on behalf of the defendant, Chase. You are the judge. All right. <clears throat> Start whenever you're ready. Order. Order. As it, it has come to my attention that at the conclusion of this particular case, we are uh, we have time for one more statement from the defendant and the jury, uh, or the, the defendant and the other one. Uh, please and and don't don't worry about this lever that I'm going to start uh, cranking. Please make your statements. Yes, Your Honor. Well, you see, my client has never done anything wrong in his life. He's a little baby boy. That's right. I'm a little baby boy. I've. I'm such a little baby. I'm such a little baby boy. Uh oh. So, oh no, a, my a little baby, baby a... boy seems kind of sick. Yeah, I'm. Uh. Oh, uh. Uh. I'm, Please continue like... with your statement. I feel. Really um. So I... anyway, uh, my little baby boy has never done anything wrong. So I think that the accusation that he took cookies from the cookie jar is just totally wrong. I'm in it. Say, I love cookie. I love cookie. Wait, yeah, 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 yeah. I love cookie. Well, we, 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 we. Are those no, cookies? you can't have any more cookies. <laughs> are, are those still cookies? Are those still cookies? Yeah, 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 ye
No cookies! <laughs> no cookies! My word! You are an evil! I will not have this shit to fully be happy in my court! <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. What? In the name of Sam Hill. What in the world? Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Mar, I was going to dock you points for using voice mod, but but then you did the thing with the cat and now I have to I have to give you a, whatever point I was going to dock back because that was just like really fucking funny. Mar's um, getting extracurricular. That was that was getting extracurricular. I have um, I have techniques that have yet to be explored. Right. Um, tell you what. Uh, for that one, I'm gonna uh, Mar and Peregrine. I'm gonna give you two points. And Chase, I'm gonna give yes. you three because I, I really yeah, liked yeah, your yeah. delivery as the judge and your reason that <laughs> things were being uh, <laughs> being filled up with helium. Uh, yeah. That was great. And uh, I just took a look at our uh, chat poll, and the winner of the chat poll is Mar. You so, betrayed me. Mar. So Mar, <laughs> uh, you get a bonus three points. Yay! Super, Yay! super good. And I just and I just want to say before we get to our final scores that this has been like one of my favorite episodes of Act Promptly. Y'all, uh, y'all all killed it. <laughs> it's gotta be gotta be top chat. five at least. <laughs> hey, Ellie. Yeah, top five. Yes. Remember earlier today when you said uh, you were gonna make a tiebreaker for Act Promptly just in case we ever needed one? Ooh. <laughs> what are you saying? Oh. We need it. It looks like, <laughs> it looks like we need a tiebreaker. Cause we got uh, good thing Mar you made one today. Yeah, Mar and Chase with fifty four points, and uh, Peregrine with fifty two and a half. Uh, but <laughs> am I the first? I shouldn't have spent that fucking to... point. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> At least Has I got I my legendary hot dog joke in. True. I, I, Has anybody ever people had? People you for this. I think someone has. Thing. I think someone really? has, but I don't remember. Damn. I want to say I like. I want to say yes, but I'm only like sixty percent sure. Um, Damn it. <laughs> so, what we are going to do is we are going to go to our tiebreaker game. And for the tiebreaker game, it's going to be just Chase and Mar head to head. Here's how the tiebreaker works. Hi, Mar. Hi. This seems like a great time to go practice my accordion. <laughs> <laughs> the tiebreaker is You know what? I know it doesn't matter anymore, but you get a bonus point for that. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, here's how this is going to work. The tiebreaker is the questions game. Uh, you have okay. to have oh, fuck. you have to have a coherent conversation with the two w between each other, and uh, you can only ask questions. You can't take any more than three seconds to come up with something to say. You can't say things that aren't questions, and you can't repeat the same question that either of you have already said. Does that make sense? All right. Yes. Yep. Chase is gonna go first. What are you doing in here? What are you doing in here? You, what? <laughs> uh, I'm. Uh, isn't it against the rules to uh, repeat questions? It is. Uh, and so Chase. <laughs> I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> and Chase in character. Who asked that? I think that clips it, friend. I think that. I think that does it. I think that means that Chase, you, you've won the. You've won. I did it. I'm the Queen of England. You did it. You're the Queen of England. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very cool. Oh my god. Congratulations very much to our winner, and thank you also to, to Mar and <laughs> Mar. <laughs> I get it. It's, it's, it's time for a new phase in Mar's life. <laughs> it's time for Mar 3.0. <laughs> Mar's just screaming. Oh my god. I did it. Thank you everybody for playing that. I've, I've had a wonderful time, uh, and thank you uh, for watching Act Promptly. We will be back in a couple weeks with more. Uh, once again, if you liked what you've seen today, uh, consider showing some support to our contestants at the various places uh, you can find them. Uh, Mar yes. at, at Marcatoto on Twitter.com, uh, Peregrine at Fungus Potion on Twitter.com, and uh, Chase at Clown underscore Depot on Twitter.com. Yes. All, all wonderful yes. friends. So glad to have y'all yes. here. Um, and we will uh, yes. see you soon with yes. more. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah. So, so I love you. Sorry. <laughs>